guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Now you may be able to hear outside but here in Scotland it is horrendous. The weather is definitely taking a turn at the moment and I feel like as soon as those nights start getting darker earlier and the weather gets a bit colder, it's time to bring out our slow cookers again and I honestly could not be happier. I do use my slow cooker around the year but more often than not, as soon as we get to that September to Christmas period, it's kind of the only thing that I use for cooking. So without further ado, I'm going to get into this video. What I'm planning to do is show you as many meal preps for slow cooker meals that we can do in four to five minutes. I'm going to try and get as many done as we can. I want to get ahead of the game so that when we are going back to school and going to nursery runs, I can just chuck all this stuff into the slow cooker and get ready. Tonight's meal is going to be meatballs, Swedish style meatballs, so it's got that kind of really nice white sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on just now for tonight's tea. And then I'm going to use these big huge bags that I've got and I actually managed to source some from Asda that were pretty big so that we can try and prep our meals into here for the week. So I'm going to basically be using this dump bag method to put all of our stuff in and then it means every single day we can just take one of these from the fridge and pop it in the slow cooker right away in the morning and dinner's already sorted. So if we're going to spend 20 minutes making this, we may as well prep for the rest of the week. So I really hope you enjoy this video and find it informative and helpful and it gets you started for your week. And if you are new to my channel, please do hit subscribe. It really helps me out and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Let's get into Swedish meatball time and I am very excited to try this one. So for our meatballs, I just got ready made meatballs out of Lidl just because it was quicker and these were also on offer. So I got these. You'll need some beef stock cubes, some milk, some ground pepper. You'll also need some ground nutmeg and ground allspice, some double cream, salt, garlic granules, sour cream, lurk pack or any kind of butter and some flour. And I'm just going to go ahead and put my slow cooker here onto the highest setting just so we can get this ready for tea time because it's two o'clock just now. I'm going to leave all of the ingredient lists below so you know what to do. In equal amounts we're going to use three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of flour. Get that going to make like a roux in this dish and then we're going to add in our wet ingredients, our nice spices and then lastly pop the meatballs in and then let them sit until it's dinner time and I'm going to serve this with mashed potatoes tonight. I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of each ground nutmeg and allspice, half a teaspoon of garlic granules, I've also got half a teaspoon of salt. Just popped in a beef stock cube there as well and we're just going to give it a second and stir it around. I'm just going to pop about three tablespoons of milk into a mug and heat this in the microwave. That'll help to just get everything going nice and quickly because my slow cooker's not just quite hot enough yet, but that'll get all of that moving together and then we can add in our meatballs, our cream and some pepper and then just let it do its thing. For the milk to go in, I'm just going to pop that all over the top of the butter. And then now I've got double cream and sour cream. I'm going to use half a tub of each of these. It's round half a cup, which is roughly half of one of these. just combined all of those ingredients together and now I'm going to take my meatballs and actually batch cook some of these and then freeze them for later because I don't think I'll use all of them in one go because I've got 24 meatballs here but who knows it might be really nice and then because a lot of this is going to reduce I might just pop a little tiny bit more milk in here just so nothing starts to stick to the bottom or burn. Flash. And just for good luck, I'm going to put in one more beef salt cube just so we get loads and loads of flavour. And that's just going to cook for around maybe three to four hours because they're small meatballs, they won't take long to cook at all. So I'm just going to leave that to do its thing, check on it occasionally, but that's going to look really good. Time to clear my feet and let's get into some more meal prep. 
Okay, so the first meal that we're going to prep into one of our bags is a really gorgeous sort of Chinese Asian style chicken. So it's like a honey, garlicky, peanutty, beautiful chicken dish. It's absolutely gorgeous. Loads of you love my peanut butter chicken. This is kind of like more version on the Chinese side of that, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I have just chopped up into nice thin slices some chicken breast fillet. This is just like into thin strips, so it took me literally about two seconds to do. So I'm going to chuck that into my bag first. And then right in the side that we're going to put in some garlic and some chilli. Now I want to use probably about maybe a teaspoon of garlic. So I want this to be nice and garlicky. And then possibly around a quarter of a teaspoon of chilli flakes because these can be quite potent. That was a bit of a heaped one there. We pop in some salt. Next up we want about two tablespoons of honey. I'm also going to use this salt and chilli mix because I think it just adds a really nice flavour. It's got that nice five spice seasoning in it as well. I got mine from Home Bargains. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. A quarter cup of dark soy sauce. And I've just cut up lots of different veggies. So I've got spring onion, white onion, and then I've got red and yellow pepper, just in half of each. You can use more veg if you want. You could also put in like broccoli or something as well, which is quite nice. And then I'm going to put in a big, massive tablespoon of peanut butter. Like that. right into the bag. That is literally your whole meal in a bag. Another thing is I might feel like I need to add in maybe a thickener, so something like cornstarch or even just a little teaspoon of flour will thicken up the sauce and make it really, really yummy. And don't forget to label or date these. Now these have got nice little parts here where you can write on, so I'm just going to pop on the sip of September so we know when to use this thing right into the fridge or you can freeze this and use it at another time. Next up we're going to be making a really lovely bolognese. So again taking one of my absolutely massive bags and we're we'll open this up and the first thing I'm going to pop in it is some frozen onion just because it's so easy to have in. So I'm just going to go ahead and chuck in that looks about an onion's worth of frozen onion into my bag. And now I'm going to take Two or three carrots. I don't know how much you could there. That one's a bit of a funny shape. I'm going to do three carrots. And I'm going to grate them because my kids won't eat them otherwise. Not in a bolognese anyway. They'll eat them as a size. But if they're big and they're through something that's not for sure, if it's basically too thin, this, they're not having it. I'm just going to grate up my carrot. About two carrots was absolutely perfect just so this little thing is filled. And this is from Ikea, it's such a great little invention. So I'm going to pop my carrot in there. And then keeping the same lid on here, I'm going to just do the same with my celery. I'm going to take two or three celery sticks, I think we'll put three. So three grated celery sticks are going in. And then probably my favourite type of mushroom, I absolutely love them, chestnut mushrooms. They're so deep in flavour, I just really like them. So I'm going to clean up my board. Four large chestnut mushrooms. These really nice and fine. Now I've got a pack of 5% fat mints, and this is a 750 gram one. Now I'm also going to use two slices of bacon, just normal back bacon rashers. I use the unsmoked one, I just think it's a bit nicer. So I'm just going to chop that up into little slices, little cubes. The good thing about all this going in the slow cooker is see anything you can't chop finely enough, it just starts to disintegrate anyway as soon as it gets into the crock pot. So don't worry if you're not very good at chopping things like me. And flavour wise we're going to go for some garlic. I've also got some bay leaves, I'm going to pop two of them in. That's a teaspoon of garlic. I've got some of this mixed Italian herb seasoning. I'm just going to pop in a nice whack of that. I'm going to throw in two bay leaves. I also like to put in a little glug of Worcestershire sauce. Stock cube always goes a long way. 
And then we're going to go right in with our plum tomatoes. You can actually leave this until the day off, but I want to just have nothing to do. So I'm going to pop in two tins of plum tomatoes. And I'm going to add in just a little bit of pepper before I seal this up. And that will be us. Almost forgot to add in a little tiny sprinkle of sugar just to take that acidity away from the tomatoes. That there, in that big bag, is a massive batch of beautiful bolognese. So I'm going to just seal that up now. And again, do not forget to stick the date on it. So this has to be used by the 7th of this month. Okay, so the next up is one that my kids will definitely eat and that is sausage casserole. And it's good because I'm getting all the veg in there and it's a really easy one that all of us will eat. So, first things first, I've got to peel my sweet potato. Just very, very roughly peel my potato and I'm going to cut it into nice chunks. So, kind of one centimetre thickness. I'm going to make my little circles, my little discs. And this sweet potato today has actually been kind to me because usually they give me the absolute beer to cut into them. And then each of these I'm going to cut into probably like four because I like my, my casserole to be quite chunky. So let's do them in fours. And the nice thing about a casserole is it doesn't really matter sort of how good you are at cutting things up because it's all just getting bunged in there anyway. So let's just go ahead and put that whole big massive sweet potato in here. Now, the good thing about having the potato in the casserole is that we don't have to put anything with it. It's just literally a one pot wonder. I'm also going to take a couple of celery sticks, just these little mini ones. Chop them up. Moving on to the lovely red onion. I love a red onion. So next I'm going to take some carrots and cut them nice and chunky. I'm not going to bother taking the skin off these because it really doesn't matter. It's to literally just put these into wee discs. And I've got a big massive pack of these. So these are 10 chiclata sausages. I'm just going to take them and pop them into the bag. Each of them need to cut as I put them in just because there's still some of them on their strings together. A long string, this is like cartoon sausages, that's what that's like. I'm just going to pop in a little plug of olive oil, pop in some thyme and some rosemary and I've also got again another of the slow cooker essentials stock cubes. So I'm going to pop in two stock cubes and also some garlic granules and that will be as good to go. The only thing we'll have to add in is our tinned tomatoes and that will be again one of those bag to crock pot meals that just takes you one afternoon that you've got free. I've only been doing this now for four to five minutes and that's filming and trying to get all the angles and stuff so it's very very doable and like you couldn't make this up but every meal I've done has been the fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth. My last but certainly not least recipe is for a lovely korma so it's a really really simple one that everyone can do it's easy so we're going to just cut our onion and my workspace is getting progressively worse as time goes on okay so i'm just going to take this onion and just cut it into little slices you can also make this into quarters if you prefer curry like that this is just the way that i cut onions it's probably not professional it's probably not the right way to do it but this is just about getting the food out to our fridges as quick as possible. Oh, my eyes are stinging. I'm actually using a knife. Whoa, those onions are strong. I'm using a knife today, but a lot of the time I do use scissors to cut my chicken, especially when it's in diced pieces. Whoa. So let's go with the chicken into the bag. I'm just going to pop in a little glug of olive oil like so 
And then I'm going to put in some garlic. I'm going to pop in maybe about just half a teaspoon of garlic. And then in here we've got garam masala, we've got cumin, we've got hot paprika, and we've got turmeric, which actually there's not a lot left in that. That's better. And we want to put in probably around a teaspoon of each. That's kind of the easiest way to remember it. And then the great thing about this is when we make the meatballs, we use half of this tub of double cream. So we're now going to use the rest to put in here. Add a little bit of pepper. And then on the day that you cook this, you need to put about 250 millilitres of water into your slow cooker because that will obviously make your sauce. And it's also worthwhile putting in something like a teaspoon of flour or cornstarch just to make it really, really thick and creamy. And that's everything. That's all you need to know. Obviously, you serve it with rice or whatever you want. I always serve mine with rice just to be my craveable runs. I just get to pop this away now. And that's my five days worth of meal prep done. So guys, that is everything sorted for the week. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I am going to now go and clear all of this away. Knowing that I only have to really do that once this week is making me feel so organised. All of the ingredients list will be below in the description box. So check that out for your little reference. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.